that Shashi Tharoor in fact has tweeted on Prime Minister Modi and uh, Ayodhya temple. He has taken a scathing jibe at the Prime Minister saying and I'm quoting him here that so Prime Minister will inaugurate the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya on January 22nd and the Babs Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi on February 14th. I expect elections to be called very soon thereafter. In 2024, it is clear that the BJP will now revert to its core message and offer Narendra Modi to the nation as a Hindu Hriday Samrat. We have CNN News 18's Pallavi Ghosh joining us on the broadcast to give us more details about this political development. Uh, Pallavi, a very good morning to you. This is indeed a scathing jab coming in from Shashi Tharoor saying that uh, BJP will yeah, now portray... So yeah. So Shashi Tharoor essentially is echoing what many within the Congress party perhaps don't want to say it openly. Some from other parties definitely saying it openly like the CPIM and the Trinamool Congress uh, as far as the Ram Mandir issue is concerned. Uh, the fact remains is that Hindutva is a very strong uh, feeling for the BJP, it's their core ideology. And the Prime Minister's image as someone who pushes that agenda uh, is also one of the main reasons why the BJP has been very, very successful electorally speaking, especially in the Hindi heartland belt. But with Shashi Tharu now engaging on this topic, talking about the Ram Mandir and sinking it to Lok Sabha election, is the main point which many in the Congress have been making also, is that there is no demarcation between religion and politics. I don't think it's going to go down well. He's not just a member of parliament from Thiruvananthapuram. He also happens to be a member of the Congress Working Committee, which is a core group of the Congress Party. So whatever he says, in a sense, will be seen as a reflection of the feeling within the Congress Party. And thereby, it's an issue which is now given once again on a platter to the BJP.